Okay then guys, what's going on? Cloud Plays here and welcome back to another video here on the channel and some sad news for the new action RPG Atlas Fallen as we've now got a delay on its release date. That's right, less than a month after the original release date of May 16th, we now have a new one. With that being said, if you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on, it'd be greatly appreciated. And with that being said, let's dive on into it. So, publisher of Focus Entertainment and developer Deck 30 have delayed the release date of the Atlas Fallen to August 10th, 2023 on PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series S and X. The delay arrives not even one month after the team revealed its previous May 16th release date, although it's a bit sad to see the fantasy action RPG pushed back by a few months, it's not much of a surprise. Announced barely half a year ago, Atlas Fallen fans didn't actually get to see what gameplay looks like until around two weeks ago. The extra time gives the team a bit more leeway to polish and deliver the experience players are looking forward to. They do post up a post on the Deck13 underscore DE main Twitter page and it states the following. Dear players, thank you for the tremendous support we've received so far on Atlas Fallen. From your enthusiastic comments on our video teasers online and in person at PAX East, to the positive previews from critics, we're grateful and honoured to have you excited to play our game. Our goal has always been to create a memorable action RPG experience in a unique setting with exciting gameplay and the option to for fully playable seamless co-op with a friend. We'd love to give the game some extra time which we will allow to deliver the best possible version of Atlas Fallen. To achieve this, we have made the difficult decision to delay the worldwide launch of Atlas Fallen to August 10th, 2023. We apologize for this disappointing news and we'll come back in early summer to share updates on the game including new gameplay footage and your first look at the drop-in co-op gameplay. We can't wait to bring you a fantastic experience in the deserted lands of Atlas this summer. Thank you for your patience and understanding as we head to the finish line. Deck 13 and Focus Entertainment. Now this is disappointing to say the least, but at the same breath it's nice to know that these game development teams are now not too afraid to be able to put those delays in place. Like we stated beforehand, it has not been that long since they even announced the game, let alone be able to publish it straight off the bat coming in May. So now we've now got August 10th, it means that we've got a bit more hype to build up, we've got some more gameplay that's going to be coming out, and we now know what the co-op is going to look like. We know now that it is a drop-in co-op gameplay, which means that you'll be able to just drop in and drop out as and when you please, which for me is most personally the best version of a co-op gameplay known to man. With that being said, there was obviously a lot of things that the critics and ourselves did state about the gameplay we've seen and or played already. So hopefully they're going to take some of that stuff into consideration. The main push for loot is really, really low. Exploration is pretty much unwarranted, although really, really wanted with the way that transverse in the map is dealt. And as an overall, the game is mediocre at best. As fortunately, this game has got so much potential, it's absolutely ridiculous whether they're going to be able to utilize this and make the new era of Prince of Persia, this is going to be yet to be seen. Now that's all we've got time for today. This was just a quick update to let you guys know about Atlas Fallen that we're not going to be seeing it now for a few more months ahead. With that being said, let me know your opinions down in the comment section so we can get a conversation going about what you guys are thinking about the Atlas Fallen gameplay so far and your views on the delay. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. Thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, up until the next time, I'll see you in the clouds.